hello welcome to my youtube channel uh, and before project let's uh, ensure we draw the as land heights on the plan before project we just have to draw those lines first of all and now we are going to use a straight edge together with a vertical edge to transfer the points on the cut face on the front elevation back to our plan as it goes down the part that has been cut on the front elevation can now be seen on the plan as they are projected by a straight edge. So where those vertical projection lines meet the plan on the slant heights, we are going to point out or to name the points, to mark off the points on the cut face of the cut face on the plan. So we are going to join all those points with straight edge or straight lines. So we continue joining all the lines on the outside of the plan and also the inner part that has been cut. That means the cut face on the front elevation appearing on the plan as a flat face that has six, uh, six sides. And that inner part that ha is representing the cut face on the plan is going to be hatchered. We, we use land lines to do what you refer to as hatchering. Now next, according to our question, we are supposed to draw the true shape and for the true shape, it therefore means we are going to observe this particular solid, the truncated pyramid perpendicularly on the side of the cut face. We observe the cut face perpendicularly, so we have to use to set squares to draw one uh, perpendicular lines meeting the cut face. So once the lines meet the cut face perpendicularly, we are going to transfer the cut points, the cut face on the plan using XY or the plane, the, the base as a plane, as a reference point. We transfer all the points with your pair of compass back to the lines, starting from the cut face. So we are going to transfer all the points on the cut face that's appearing on the plan back to our uh, space. And now once we have transferred, we are going to join all those points to give us a true shape. So basically a true shape is a shape that is gotten when you observe the cut face perpendicularly. So next we have to draw the end elevation and because it's in the first angle projection and we are observing the object from the left, we are going to draw it on the right. So with a straight edge, you transfer the vertex with a straight line. Now again, we are going to transfer the points on the plan to meet the vertical from 4. We draw a vertical line at 4 downwards. Then we extend line 6, 5 and uh, 2, 3. To meet the vertical so with your compass pair of compass standing at four we are going to transfer the points six five to meet the base the center line also is going to be transferred that is one and four and then last we are also going to transfer two and three so we name them six and five for the end elevation, 1 and 4 on the end elevation, and also 2 and 3. So we are going to extend the center line upwards so that it meets the horizontal lines we drew up there to give us the vertex of the end elevation. And now we join the slant lines from 6 to 5 to the vertex, 6, 5 to the vertex, and 2, 3 to the vertex as well. 
So because we also want to determine the points of the cut phase on the front elevation on the end elevation, we just use straight lines to transfer the points. Horizontal lines to transfer the points on the end elevation. So the question is how do you get those points? It means like for example if we have 6 we can correspondingly move with 6 upwards and look for 6 on the end elevation and point out that particular point of intersection. So like for 1 it means we go with it upwards and we look for 1 on the end elevation. For all other points, we just move and look for them and also point them out. So we're going to join all those points to give us a face that is appearing from the side, uh, left hand side to give us the end elevation. You would also realize that there are lines that are going to be object lines, which can be drawn using your HP pencil. So now the next thing we are going to draw is we have to determine uh, or we draw what you call auxiliary plan in the direction that was indicated by our question. That was the question was indicating that we are observing the solid at an angle 45 degrees. So we can draw that 45 degree angle with a straight edge and a 45 degree set square. So we are going to draw lines that are going to uh, take an angle 45 degrees passing through every point on that particular cut face in the front elevation. That means we are observing are hidden. So those points that are hidden we shall, we shall join them with uh, dotted lines but these ones that are visible we join them with outlines or object lines. So let's join together. We join them. This one is hidden and also this other is hidden. This is visible and this is visible. This one, uh, this other one is visible. This one is also visible. And also this one is uh, visible. And also this other side is visible. So now we are done with this. We need now just to draw what you call the development and we are just confirming if uh, the slant line is going to give us the true length. And actually for this case it gives us the true length. So we establish our point and just draw a, a, an arc of slant line x4. So we draw straight lines from the vertex and we start, uh, we can start by one. And then we take distance one, two, which is equal through to two, three, and that order and just transfer it to the curve. So and now once we are done with this, we are going to numbers from one, two, three, four, five, six, back to one. Then we join your straight lines. These are construction lines. So we transfer the points on the cut face from the vertex, we transfer them to our net. We are doing the development of the lateral face. Again, we, we take the second one. These are 2 and 6. We come and mark on 2 and 6. We take the next point back. It is four and 3 and 5. We come on it on the net and mark 3 and 5 correspondingly. And lastly, we pick the last one, which is 4, and cut it on 4. So we are going to join with straight lines and these are outlines, the object lines, we join them. So this one becomes our development. We just join with object lines until we are done.
So this is all that you are supposed to do. Thank you very much for watching, but don't forget to subscribe. I love you all.